Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh My name is Dendra Tria Puswitawati from class 1 with NPM number 2210302023 and my motion debate is this house believe that teacher faculties have a bleak feature teacher marketplace is the solution to problem in Indonesia with 5 minute part for government and opposition team As a government team, we are agree about the motion above Teacher marketplace is a content that content teacher that are a list of all teachers who are allowed to teach. Later, the database can be accessed directly by all school in Indonesia. With this, the enrichment of the in-service teacher professional education (PBG) program is one of the policies of the Ministry of Education and Culture to complete an complete teacher certification in the position as and that in law number 14 of 2005 considering teachers and lectures this is one of the requirement of the teacher marketplace from a database or prospective teachers who have participated in the ASN PPK selection or Pre-Service Teachers Professional Education PPG Graduates who are considered eligible to become PPG teachers One of the benefits associated with selecting teacher from the marketplace is greater access to educational results The teacher marketplace allows school to access teacher with the various spelling specialization and experience in their field. This can benefit school that may not have teacher with certain specialist qualification internally. By using the teacher marketplace, school can search for required teacher that suit their needs. In addition, a teacher marketplace can can also provide flexibility in hiring teachers according to fluctuating demand. School can access teachers on a temporary basis without having to hire full-time teachers. This can reduce overhead costs and provide flexibility in managing school budgets. In addition, with the implementation of the teacher marketplace, there are a number of solutions that can be guided by both teachers and school. First of all, teachers will get a prosperous and standardized salary. This is an important step in improving that welfare and eliminating disparities and salary type. Teachers also have faster access to job opportunities that match their qualification. The spelling up the process of placing teacher in various schools. One significant benefit is that when a teacher is retired by prospective school, they can become a PPK teachers. This provides stability and job security to teachers who previously only worked as honorary. Those teacher vacancies in schools can be filled immediately, reducing the negative impact on learning continuity. Other benefits are also felt by school. With this, schools can require teacher when needed without having to wait for the recruitment process conducted by the central or regional governments. This accelerates the resolution of the shortage of educators in a school. In addition, the government also provides funding for teacher recruitment costs to schools, which will help reduce the financial burns of school in finding and recruiting educators. In the long run, the implementation of the teacher's marketplace also helped reduce school dependence on school operational assistance funds to pay teacher salaries. Instead, teacher salaries will be paid by the government. 
This will provide certainty and sustainability of funding for teacher salaries. In the conclusion, we support the teacher's marketplace as a solution in Indonesia, saying that it has great potential to improve teacher welfare, address the shortage of educators in schools, and improve efficiency in the teacher recruitment. In the long run, the implementation of this concept can have sustainable impact on human development through quality education in this country. As an opposition team, we disagree with the motion. Nowadays, vocational graduates find it difficult to find a job. Moreover, the registration of civil servants is considered more difficult for fresh graduates, making graduates not interested in becoming an educator. According to law number 14 of 2005 concern, concerning teachers and lecture, Article 8, which states that teachers must have academic qualification, competencies, teaching certificates, be physically and mentally healthy and have the ability to realize national education goal. The implementation of the in-service teacher provisional education program PPJ is one of the policies of the Ministry of Education and Culture to conduct and complete teacher certification in a position as meant that in law number 14 of 2005 concerning teachers and lectures. Many other factors it influence the difficulty of education graduates becoming teachers in Indonesia. Some of these include a lack of available job opportunities, strict requirement for entry into the formal education system and limited infrastructure and resource in some areas. In addition, sometimes low salaries can also be an inhibiting factor added to the problems like exits for teachers in Indonesia is a never-ending issue. It can be said that the teaching profession is always dealing with a big problem and dilemmas. Teachers are one of the factors that determine the progress of the nation through education. The purpose, the purpose of this country existence as stated in the preamble of the 1945 Constitution, one of which is to educate the nation. The task of educating the nation rests heavily on the shoulders of teachers, couple with the existence of a marketplace for teachers, making graduates from the Faculty of Education a heavy obstacle for those who want to become teachers. Further not to mention that after graduation, they cannot immediately become teachers, but still continue their education to become teachers. With this, the marketplace makes new graduates of education less competitive with those who are already experienced, where their chance of being chosen by schools are few because school prefers teachers who already have experience, even true those who have just graduated can also be like those who are experienced and also as a result teachers in its school become uneven due to this marketplace where experienced teachers are definitely in the good schools so that there is an unevenness of teachers in its school and it is also feared that it will also harm the dignity of teachers to dishonor it because they look like merchandise. The new program announced by Nadim has drawn criticism from an education observer Trianto from Sebelah Smart University, UNS. Trianto revealed that they use 
of the word marketplace in this context is considered to demean the position of teacher as educator and damage their dignity. Placing teachers in a con connotation as if they are merchandise is inappropriate considering that the teaching provision is a noble provision. The autonomous system in recruitment is also considered to be fraudulent because the school itself chooses which teacher to recruit. In addition, the use of digital platform that are not accessible accessible to all is a new problem for the governments. Teachers' welfare and motivation might decrease because they do not get proper salaries and benefits like civil servant or triple PK PPK. It causes inequality because there is competition among thousands of the of all the teachers in the marketplace. So that's all for me. Thank you for watching.